Hello fellow Rosarians, thanks for joining me today. I am ready to do three unboxings. They all arrived on the same day and these are from companies that I haven't ordered from before so I'm real excited to see what they look like. Um, so as we get into the unboxings, I'm going to have a ton of unboxings this season just so that you know what to expect with the size of the rose, the quality, the price, the warranty, all that good stuff. And then we do a rack and stack so that you uh, can decide who you want to buy from. So the first one that we're going to start from today is from Spring Hill. And Spring Hill is affiliated with Gurney's and Brax and Michigan Bulb Company. I ordered from Michigan Bulb Company in the past and I can't say I was impressed. Um, the roses had some issues. I think all of them except for one died. Uh, but Brex, on the other hand, their sister company, I loved the Bare Roots last year. They were huge and they've done so well. So I thought I'm ordering from Gurney's, so we'll take a look at that. We're gonna open from Spring Hill right now and see what they look like. According to the folks over at the site, they don't ship from the same warehouse for these um, sister companies. They all have their own warehouse, so maybe the, the quality is a little bit different. So let's talk about the ordering experience. Using the website, super easy. Uh, the one thing that I noticed is I placed my order back in December and I started watching, is there any better sale out there right now? Should I cancel that order and reorder? But it looked like every single promotion they offered, whether it was a percentage amount off or free shipping, they only offer one or the other and any given sale. And for me, it ended up being just about the same. So I just kept the order with free shipping. They are very responsive through their customer service chat to talk function. Um, it's very responsive. And I think I also tried to reach them through email and they were very responsive. Is this a small company? No, you guys know that I really enjoy supporting small business, but in this case it is not. And I'm just still gonna check them out anyways. Are you gonna talk to the same person every time you call? Of course not. Um, we talked about their sister companies and all of their roses are budded on Dr. Huey. Another fun thing, <laughs> when you look at their site, it wasn't available when I ordered, or if it, if it was, I just decided it was too expensive. They've got their grade one, which is about $39, but then they have jumbo. And look at this picture. I mean, this is an obnoxious root. But the grade one looks very large also. And the Brex bare root that I bought last year was really large too. So I'm going to be happy with a um, just a grade one. I have seen pictures from folks who have ordered the jumbos and they are ridiculous. They're huge. <laughs> so let's see, what do we look for when we unbox? We look for, is the rose the size that we ordered? We've talked about what is a grade one rose, and I'll pop that link up here for you. A grade one rose simply is three canes the size of a pencil. If you need to know additional sizing information, make sure you check out that video. Uh, but most folks are advertising their online sites that they're grade one. So you just wanna make sure you got a grade one rose. Um, are the canes strong and bright green in color? Are the bare roots uh, still moist? Are they in a closed bag? I only ordered from one company last year where the bag was not closed. All of the other companies typically have a plastic bag and the roots are sealed and you can still see the moisture inside. Okay, what else are we looking for? Uh, we wanna make sure that the canes are not soft, indicating that there's any kind of issue with the canes. We wanna look at the crown and make sure that the crown is not soft, which would indicate um, some kind of a rot. So it should all be firm. Canes, crown. We shouldn't see any growth on the roots. Sometimes people will say, my roses were lost in shipment. Um, it's been 10 days and they should be fine. As long as they're asleep, um, they will be fine for 10 days or so uh, in the bag. So let's get a look quick here at this. Um, so real quick, I am seeing that there is humidity and moisture in this bag, so we're off to a good start. Let's open this up. I think it was on a, a Weeks and Caruth mission with this, uh, this order. So we're gonna see three Weeks roses. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so as I mentioned, wow, these canes are dark. Wow. 
Okay, <laughs> so as I mentioned, um, we want at least three canes the size of a pencil. Uh, yes, we are definitely um, at one, two, three, four, five canes. So this is a nice one. Um, I'm going to feel this crown area here where the graft is to make sure that it's okay. Uh, so I have a concern and I'm going to show it to you here on the screen. Maybe it's not a big deal. Um, so tell me if you can see here, when I get close to um, the crown, I'm not used to seeing it separated like this. So can you see it's kind of here. Um, I can put my finger in there. So that's, that's not great that that layer is coming off this cane here is broken so i'm going to have to remove this cane they have stripped this 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 rose has been damaged in shipping i'm looking at the thorns and it has been stripped uh here uh in shipping this cane is damaged this is a totally separate cane from the one that i just showed you so why is that a problem is the rose going to be fine there's a strong possibility the problem is it introduces a way for bacteria to get into the canes. We want to get them off to the right start. And so right now I just have concerns that this, this cane is damaged. <laughs> the thorns have been removed in several different places on this one. So I have two canes that will have to come off. That aside, so let's put aside now that I'm not totally tickled with the way this looks. Uh, looking at the roots, the roots are, I mean, there's moisture here, but they are a little on the dry side. Um, the roots have been, some of them have just come off. Um, so this, this rose has not been handled well. I'm really hoping for good things uh, with the next rose that we look at, but we'll talk about this rose in a second. I am excited about the variety. As I said, I'll just document uh, this and send it over to... Um, Spring Hill so that they're aware and I'll have to look at what the warranty is in a second but we'll be watching it closely okay so looking at this rose um, I am seeing that it has damage here uh, to this crown uh, portion of it let's go ahead and look at the rest of the canes they are green I can tell that they've got bud eyes that want to uh, push out uh, looking at the roots um, they have a little bit of moisture to them, but a lot of times when we see our future unboxings, hopefully in these ones that I'm going to unbox for you next, it is rare, really rare, to see the roots completely stripped like this. Normally, when I do an unboxing, they have a covering over the roots that make them this dark, you know, the dark skin color. And you might see one or two roots where it is completely um, removed of that covering. But to see all of it removed just tells me that they have really been handled. Finally, last one. Um, what's going on here? What in the world? Whatever machine they're using, <laughs> they have pulled back, totally pulled back the skin here and here. I mean, I don't know if I have ever seen this before in my life. Um, but looking at the rest of the rows, um, barring those two issues, we've got the same issue going on with the roots themselves. But, you know, the shape of it, so this looks great. There is no nematodes or knotting or gall or anything like that that we need that we need to worry about. Um, so we're going to make sure, let's get into the warranty so we know how long we have and we need to be watching these. It's a lifetime warranty. So I do remember that from the Brex unboxing. It's an unbelievable warranty. If you ever have any problem whatsoever, they're going to give you your money back. I, actually, I think they're going to give you a credit, a store credit. Um, so warranty is not going to be an issue on this one. I'm still going to get it documented that they need to look at their QA 
on these roses. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the varieties really quick before I get into the pricing. So I received Uptown Girl, which is a Tom Carruth rose. Uh, it has the typical English look. Its petals are tucked into a cup shape with scalloped appearance. It's going to be five inch blooms, so really nice size. And it's gonna grow three to four feet. Uh, it's going to have coral pink flowers with the darker reverse. I know in the, uh, the video that I did uh, talking about the new varieties coming out from Winks, one of their big pushes was that the Caruth roses were resistant to rust and powdery mildew and downy mildew. So we're gonna go to try and see if they do as well here as the Cordes roses do for me. So let's talk about Morning Glow. Morning Glow, it says, wake up to a brand new morning with this fresh Floribunda, our morning Glow for Floribunda combines dark green foliage, outstanding bud form, and large, nearly four inch across old fashioned blooms in a silky ginger root yellow. This gorgeous contrast, along with its light tea fragrance, will set Morning Glow apart from all other roses in your garden. This one's going to be three to five foot tall. And finally, I got the Forever Amber Rose. You'll be enraptured by the way this flower clusters and the way that it will illuminate your landscape. These decidedly frilly, full-bodied blooms are old-fashioned in appearance and release an irresistible fruity scent. This one is interesting because it says 18 inches tall or up to three foot. So of course, I think that they're talking about the taller varieties that are, you know, zone nine, eight, nine, 10, you guys are gonna see three foot, but if it's 18 inches, this is a front of the border. So I will place it there initially, not only because I wanna watch it, um, but I'm looking for some smaller roses for the front. And I wanna ask if anybody gets Sultry Night, I saw that on their site and I was really excited about the way that it looked, but I was like, ah, you know, let me wait and see if anybody else gets it and how it looks. So I'm excited to see your pictures this season if you got Sultry Night. So let's go ahead and look at the rack and stack really quick. We've got two bare root companies that we've looked at so far. Flourish Roses comes in at an overall cost of $175. What we do is we look at if I buy five roses from this vendor and I take into account all of the coupons or savings that are available for multiple quantities, what is the overall cost? And that helps us to decide. Um, so when we look at Flourish Roses, that came in at $175. If we buy five roses from Spring Hill, it ends up being $195 and it's free shipping. So that brings it in at being more expensive than Flourish Roses. But we're gonna add two more bare roots to that rack and stack here real soon. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you'll join me for the next unboxing that we are going to do from Menagerie. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.